Hey guys, so I'm back with another PC build. So this is a personal build for me, and I'm doing it in a cube style case, the Silverstone SG08. This is the light version. The uh, the regular version also comes with a power supply, and the power supply that it comes with is a 140 millimeter uh, short power supply. Uh, Silverstone does sell a 140 millimeter short power supply, and I was almost going to get that, and um, it actually would have been good in a way if I did get that, but it's actually worked out okay this way as well. So ever since my last build in the Corsair 650D, I sort of started looking at cube cases, and I was thinking, wow, it's it's really neat to have a small form factor, small cube case with with really powerful high-end components in it. And I started thinking, well, I'd like to have one of those. So, you know, uh, some time went by, and uh, my sister actually ended up getting my 650D build uh, over a year ago now, so I've been just on a Mac uh, for for a couple years now, not really playing much games. Uh, there is a computer in the basement that I play games on occasionally, but um, Grand Theft Auto V was coming out, and uh, I was sort of missing games a little bit. And I was thinking, yeah, you know, it's time for me to, to do a build. So I got one. Uh, I got some ideas, you know. I uh, I looked up the Silverstone was kind of one that I saw a couple years ago, and uh, I w I liked it when I saw it. I saw a review on uh, OC3D, and I I looked up some reviews on other sites, and they all seemed to like it. So I picked up one of those, uh, and then I was looking at motherboards. Um, so I ended up uh, going with this. The uh, uh, Z97N Wi-Fi, uh, a nice motherboard. It's got a lot of, you know, a lot of features. Pretty much everything you'd want. It's, I mean, there are higher-end mini iTex boards that you can get, like the, the MSI Gaming one, or maybe the Asus uh, one, or whatever. But, you know, this this was a well-priced and uh, a nice-looking board. It's all black. It's got a, a good aesthetic. It's got everything that I would want. And then for the CPU, I I decided to just go with an i5 this time, so it's an i5 uh, 4690K. And uh, for some other things, I had uh, Intel uh, Extreme Masters Memory from Patriot, uh, four sticks of that uh, lying around, but um, that was actually from my 650D build. Uh, obviously, uh, Mini iTex boards only have two slots, so. I used two uh, sticks of that in here. Now I had a crucial 128 uh, gigabyte SSD as well, but uh, that may actually need to be changed because I've been having some some issues with uh, Windows 8 uh, hanging up, and then uh, uh, when it goes to restart again, uh, it doesn't see the M4 drive. So that may actually be a faulty drive. Uh, it's an older drive, maybe three or four years old now, so it's possible that that has some sort of error, or it's possible that there's something else going on. Uh, but uh, right now that's in there, and I've just got a, a 2.5 inch storage drive in there as well. Now the, the area where the, the longer power spike comes in, I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I'm really, uh, really happy overall with how this case turned out. I mean, it is really a great little case, and uh, I'm so pleased with it. So basically, you'll see here the PCI Express slot is here and the way the case is laid out 
you can have up to a 12.2 inch graphics card so basically any graphics card on the market um, but you see how here the power supply this is a 160 millimeter you know standard size ATX power supply and that sort of um, sticks out past the slot so if I had gotten the Silverstone 140 millimeter power supply I would have been able to put a full length graphics card in there but since I got this uh, standard length 160 millimeter uh, power supply I'm gonna need to get a, a short uh, graphics card so the card I was originally looking at was the PNY uh, GTX uh, 970, um, but now what I'm going to get is a, is a GTX uh, 970 uh, from Gigabyte, and it's a, a 7.2 inch uh, short uh, model with a short cooler on it uh, for small form factor computers. So it's still a 970, it's still got uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM in it, it's even overclocked from the factory, so theoretically it should be just as powerful is the 970 that I was going to get that was full length but uh, it'll probably be louder and probably a bit hotter um, but that's that's okay now <clears throat> as you can see the, the CPU cooler in there is a is a stock cooler for now uh, probably not going to leave it like that um, I'm probably going to put either a Noctua L12 low profile cooler in there or something like a Corsair H60, and I'll put the obviously the H60 will be mounted in the in the ceiling. Uh, right now, I've just got uh, NFP12 Noctua fan uh, intaking air uh, in the ceiling, and if you see here, there's actually holes for a 140, and even out here, you can even put a 180 millimeter fan, and uh, the the non-light, uh, full-featured version of this case, uh, I believe, comes with one of the Silverstone uh, uh, directed flow 180 millimeter fans. So, so anyways, the, obviously it's a mini ITX board. Um, it it does fit a full-length power supply, but as I mentioned, if you do have a full a full-length power supply, you're you're restricted. You need to put a smaller video card in. Um, there is a, a panel here uh, for an optical drive if you want a slim optical drive and there's a there's a slot loading slot at the front uh, for drives you can put uh, two 2.5 drives uh, and one uh, 3.5 drive now the uh, the cage needs to be removed with tools uh, and you screw them in and then put the back in same with this power supply if you see here the edge of this front actually will stop this power supply from sliding out so you need to take out, out the bracket install the power supply put the bracket back in same with the hard drives same with everything else and you'll notice here um, the bracket that the fans on you can also remove that you can take it right out if you don't want it uh, the filter is removable which is nice and uh, at the bottom of the case there is I'm not going to lift it now because there's things plugged in, but, uh, well, maybe it will. At the bottom of the case, there's a, another removable uh, dust filter where the power supply is. And then over here, where the graphics card is, uh, there's more ventilation. And you can see there's even a, a duct here to separate the power supply intake from the graphics card ventilation, which is kind of a nice touch. And both sides of the case have big ventilation along the whole side and the top obviously has ventilation for the fan even at the back here there's there's ventilation uh, so the case, the case is very well, well ventilated for the size and uh, and so far it's been really great except for that potential faulty SSD but that's not uh, you know that's not uh, anything to do with the case that's just you know, maybe a faulty drive. So, so uh, you know, maybe I'll do an update uh, in the future, 
and uh, you know, I'll have a new graphics card in there. I will uh, have a CPU cooler in there probably, and uh, and yeah, so there it is. Mini ITX, uh, something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. And, uh, and I finally did it, and I'm pretty happy about how it turned out.